Hi, welcome to a nice morning in Chesterfield. It's not raining, it's not snowing, it's not windy and it's not too cold. So that's a bonus, it gives you a chance to catch up in the garden and uh, check up on the fish and everything. I'm quickly coming up to 1,000 subscribers so I'd really like to do another giveaway when I get to 1,000 subscribers and the only way I'm going to do that is if people that are not subscribed and watching this video is hit the subscribe button. I'm doing a, a winter video update, so a few bits and bobs that I've got to, to do or I'm on, on with doing at the moment. Before I get into the video, for Christmas I got a few items with the Akoi Enthusiast logo on and I thought they looked quite nice as such and a few people have seen them and asked if they could have some. So I ordered a few more bits and bobs for them to, uh, to have as, uh, as gifts and thought well while I've got a few extra here I might uh, see if anybody else is interested so if anybody else is interested in any beanies polos or hoodies or cups or anything like that with the Akoi Enthusiast logo on it please check out the website akoienthusiast.co.uk click on the shop button and check out the items some nice items in there they're not really closely priced like some websites and it's free postage and package it's just a matter of enjoying the hobby and sharing uh, the enthusiasm Last weekend I popped up to my local supplier which is Andy Harrison at Five Acre Pond Supplies and like normal you spend a bit of time talking and uh, going through a few issues and problems you've got and you learn a few things uh, best you can. One thing I did do is spend some more money and what I got was some Melafix which I'm going to use on the new Polycoy to see if I can uh, uh, get any reaction from it as such so that's been recommended by a few people online and also Andy at Five Acres. Got some filter gel for the filters in the uh, three, three ponds and then also in my indoor fry vat I got two uh, fish pond pumps, air pumps and lots of airline and cables running everywhere and I wanted to uh, simplify it and make it a bit better so I purchased a Charles Austin Enviro ET30 Series Pro air pump so we're going to unbox that, open it up and set it up on the fry vat inside. I also got uh, an important thing which is not a cheap item, it is some Saki Hikari staple cookie food and that's a 15 kilo pack, beautifully presented, comes in a vac pack bag and as soon as you open it up all the air comes out and it uh, deflates but what I'm going to do is add it to the main pond feeder and uh, readjust their uh, feeding what they have each day as you know they're, they're fed every two hours from 6am through to 8pm at night and I think it was around about 50 grams that they're getting at the moment per feeding so we're going to measure out and see what this is and then adjust the food to suit So this is the setup that uh, some of your regulars will be familiar with. In the bottom I've got an air ring and three air stones. And if you look at back at the top corner there, you'll see one air unit, uh, air pump. And then over here, a second air pump. So I thought of uh, trying to combine it, reduce the issues and uh, put it onto a new air pump. So this is what we're unboxing, a Charles Austin Enviro ET30 series linear diaphragm pump. Performance is 30 litres per minute and uh, the power outage is 25 watts. got are the instructions got the box there what we've got here is Nice uh, standard bag in. This is sleek. So 
So what I've done in the end, I've got one air stone in that corner, one air stone under that waterfall back shower in that corner, and the other one's a flat disc. I've put it in the middle of the ring. Although the ring is better, the air stone's been added a bit extra. Just top it up after doing a water change and let it get up to temperature and then what I'm going to use that one for is a quarantine tank. The poorly colour and I can get some uh, better treatment without having to fit the whole pond. So I'll switch the water for backy shower back on. And that pump on there is a pond for uh, expert, very slow, 10,000 running at 30%. So there is the filter, it's probably pulling about 3,000 litres an hour. If that would be filter, it's fine to circulate this. It's only about 140 gallons anyway when it's topped up. And the water's coming in through with the dechlorinator at that litre and a half for a minute. I'll let that top up and then we'll uh, catch it later. So what I've done. I've uh, transferred the polycoy into this tank now, so there's only just this in it. And temperature is 20.3 degrees. And I'll leave it in here for a, a day, maybe two days, for it to settle down and just settle in. And then we'll add some sort of uh, antibiotics for uh, internal parasites or anything else. As mentioned earlier about the Melafix, it treats bacterial fish infections. It promotes the healing of koi goldfish, rapid repairs, damaged fins, ulcers, etc. and open wounds. Somebody's asked me why I want to use this and because the koi has been sat at the bottom, he, uh, he's got a few sores underneath him so it will help that. But this is more like a bit of an oil that you mix in with the water and uh, it works inside and out to be fair. It quickly heals bacterial infections, it promotes regrowth of damaged fins and tissues, reduces risk of disease spread through introducing new fish, for, ideal for quarantines. It uses an antibacterial property from tea tree. I'm not going to confess to being an expert on this but I've got nothing to lose. So I'm going to, it's, it's an American bottle so the measurements are slightly a bit different but uh, it says add 15 mil for every 567 litres. So I'll calculate that with the pond. The the, uh, filter, the quarantine tank is about 130 gallons. So I'll work it out and I'll add some of that in for four days. And like a lot of treatments, what it says is switch off your UV and treat daily for either three days or seven days, depending on the reason and the, uh, the seriousness. It says dose for seven days double dose when treating advanced chronic infections, repeat treatment if necessary. It does say that you might get a bit of a foaming on the uh, the water with the treatment. It might even go a bit cloudy but it's not too much. But it's Melaleuca oil. So what I've done is just topped up the pellets into the container I'm just priming it, let it run through so there's plenty in there. Then what I'm going to do is time it for 20 seconds and see what sort of weight of food they get. What we're going to do now is weigh the bucket, which I've teared off. And that's 16 grams of food in 20 seconds. So I'm going to work out what I should be feeding them and then adjust the timer to 
compensate for the amount of food that we get. It feeds every two hours for whatever seconds you want. I've just done a bit of messing about with the food. I've just checked the food and 20 seconds gives 16 grams of food. A handful of food that I normally give them at a time, a good handful, is about 22 grams, 25 grams ish, depending on your hand. So, what I reckon is if I do 25 seconds of food every two hours, that should give me roughly at least 20 grams of food going in. Let's see how they, they look at that and see how fast it goes down. Well, they seem to like it. Good handful, it's gone in, and within a minute, minute and a half, there's no leftovers, it's not going down the skimmer, and they're still happily hunting around for some more. Thanks a lot for watching the video, and if anybody's got any questions, any comments, please write them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer them best you can. If you want to check out the Facebook page, which has got some more details on, or even the new website the address is acoyenthusiast.co.uk please check it out and uh, pass on some comments and let me know what you think there's a merchandise on there on the shop so if you like any of the equipment on there just again order it online and i'll get it posted out to you and last but not least please this channel's nothing without subscribers and people watching so if you've got any comments please write them below if you enjoyed the video hit the like button if you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and check out some more videos. If you need any more information or anything, please contact me below or by the Facebook or by the website. But either way, thanks a lot for watching. Happy ponding.